Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm getting a new episode ready right now. It's in the works, but check it out. Obviously, we're gonna be talking about the coronavirus and everything associated with it. Uh, I went to the store this morning and it was stupid crazy, but we'll get into that here on this episode. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one, folks. Everybody, what's going on? It's your boy again. Welcome back to another edition of Toilet Talk. Hey, first off, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, that like. Welcome to the nation. Uh, check it out. We got a really good show for you today. Of course, we're going to talk about the coronavirus. Uh, it's stupid crazy right now. It's sweeping the nation. It's bigger than the Beatles. It's stupid. All right. I went to the uh, store this morning. And uh, it was just announced in my county that there's two cases, uh, confirmed cases, whatnot, whatever. And uh, I figured I better go to the store and get some eggs and things like that before everybody went in and just got stupid. Well, it happened. I went to Walmart and it wasn't too bad there, but there was some things missing from the aisles. Of course, toilet paper, uh, bottled water too. I. You know, there's tap water, pay your water bill, you're, you're good to go, you know. Uh, I don't know why these two things are huge right now. Uh, Lysol, of course, because you can't spray down your own house enough. I don't know. Um, I saw on the news people spraying each other. Don't do that, folks. It says it on the can. You know, not for skin, not for human skin. Crazy, stupid crazy. But uh, I, I went there and I knew, I knew this was very serious, okay? I knew, I got confirmation today. The toilet paper and the water, that's just stupidity. That's Facebook fear getting a hold of everybody. But this is when it got real for me. This right here, this isn't just a regular can of spam, folks. This is Spam Light, all right? Nobody buys this. There was only like four cans left on the, on the shelf. This is how I know it got real, okay? When people are buying this, it's a wrap, folks. It's going down, all right? I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Just uh, be careful. The governor came on the TV today and uh, some other officials, and they were talking about hoarding all these uh, items and things like that. And there's absolutely no reason for it. Um, I mean, when you think about it, there's really not. First off, toilet paper. Are you really gonna shit that much? Uh, as far as I know, you don't get diarrhea from this. You just feel like you have the flu because it's the flu, somewhat like it, you know? Maybe this was made in a laboratory. I don't know. We don't know that yet. Um, uh, yeah, it's crazy. And bottled water? You have tap water, you have the garden hose. In fact, if, you were, if we were all drinking out of the garden hose like we were when we were kids, we probably wouldn't get as sick as, as we do nowadays. Um, hand sanitizer, well, hey, is what it is. But just don't be dumb, folks. I mean, uh, after Walmart, I ended up at Sam's Club. I couldn't believe it. Uh, the lady at the door, she had a bag of uh, the sanitary wipes one a person, one per cart. And as I went into the store, I saw carts full of uh, bottled water, just cases, like four cases each. Um, people had baby wipes, everything, just, just because there's a huge hurricane coming in or something like that. Uh, the baby wipes, I didn't get. You know what, in fact, I hope they use the baby wipes first get quarantined and clog up the toilet. Bam, how's that? No, that is pretty messed up, but I mean, you're stupid, all right? Don't be doing that stuff. 
I support local plumbers. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous, folks. It really is. Um, but I, I went to the back. There was, I, I wanted to see this. There was absolutely no bottled water in Sam's Club and um, no toilet paper, no anything like that. It, it, it was just, it was getting stupid, folks. Uh, frozen veggies, all that. Um, yeah, I got there when they opened and within short time they were already, oh man, they were, they were wiped out. It was crazy. Uh, any kind of medicine or anything like that. Um, gone really gone so hopefully you don't have little ones that need wipes uh toilet paper spam uh anything like that it, it's there's no reason folks there really isn't stop reading facebook um stop reading twitter all that you're getting some really bad information and you're getting scared for oh i'd say pretty good chance of no reason right now unless you're extremely old, you're prone to illness, um, you have some dire condition that makes you um, vulnerable to disease or anything like that. Uh, those people in particular watch out. Uh, they've said it repeatedly on the TV, on the news, things like that. The Surgeon General, I remember back when I was a kid, uh, if anything came across the land in, you know, in regards to medical, the Surgeon General would come out and uh, he looked like uh, Colonel Sanders' cousin. He did when I was a kid. White hair, white beard, looked like a big old admiral or something like that. But he would come out and he would calm the nation. That's not happening nowadays. Uh, now you got Facebook, people posting just stupid stuff. I'm one of them, I know. And people believe it. It's crazy. Uh, where do I get my information? From the World Health Organization, the Red Cross, things like that. Um, if you're not familiar with the World Health Organization or who, uh, that movie with Brad Pitt and the uh, zombies when that plague was going through and everybody became zombies. And then he, excuse me, he got sick. And then, um, what was it? The zombies wouldn't eat him or something if he were sick. You guys remember that movie. But uh, they have uh, a great website, uh, great Q&A, things like that. Um, it's crazy. I even looked up top lies of the coronavirus and the only thing that came up was um, people pissed off at Trump because he said something wrong in his speech. If I'm looking up stuff as far as lies about the coronavirus or myths, that's what I need to know. I don't need all this political uh, hatred going on or whatever it is. Uh, stupid, stupid, I'm telling you. Toilet paper again. I don't get it. Uh, what I do get though, check it out. Your boy is balling. Look at that, all right? That's two ply of the best stuff in the house. The only stuff in the house. In fact, here at the nation, this is how we're living, okay folks? This is how we're living, all right? This is toilet paper. Two ply Egyptian cotton, all right? Look at this. This is how we're living, folks. That's right. This is how we're living. That's right, folks. No fear. That's how I'm living. Bowen! <laughs> Burning toilet paper in the middle of the plague. It's your boy. That's why you follow. That's why you're a part of the nation, folks. That's how we're living. Crazy, all right? Um, no public uh, gatherings over 250 people, including churches. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. Churches, places of faith. I'm gonna let that sink in just for a second, okay? Craziness, I'm telling you, it's all across the land. Also to the NBA, the NHL, and uh, baseball opening season went from the 26th, got knocked back to uh, April 9th, possibly further. All games are canceled. There's nothing going on right now. The uh, big rodeos all across the land, big music, 
excuse me, <coughs> uh-oh, the uh, <laughs> big music festivals, everything being canceled, all right? Just utter fear and craziness going on. And uh, I was watching YouTube and I swear, it was YouTube or something like that, but somebody called it the Wuhan flu because it came from the Wuhan province in China. Somebody said, oh, it was on, um, it's the one with the bird, Twitter. Somebody got super offended because they said that was gross and it was racist. Don't call it the Wuhan flu because that's racist. No, it's just where it's from. Corona though, on the other hand, if it came from China, why is it called Corona? Hello? Uh, but like I said, all sports, all the fun stuff is just going away because of this. Um, people wash your hands. If you touch something dirty, you know, don't put nothing dirty in your mouth. Yes, all you hoes out there, you could be spreading this disease. Wash it, okay? Whatever you put in your mouth, make sure it's washed. It should be washed anyway. Don't be gross. Be careful, folks. All right? Uh, on a lighter side. Can it get any lighter? I don't know. Just uh, go to the stores. Be cool. Don't be rude. Don't be dumb. Get what you need. You got water at home. It's going to be okay. All right? It's going to be okay. In fact, buy rubbers. Keep it covered. That you got a better chance of living that way. Okay? Um, like I said last episode, I was going to get into uh, the Easter season, Lent, things like that. Today is Friday the 13th, no meat, that's right, put down the burger. If you're a Christian, Catholic, no meat. This is the celebration of the 40 days that Jesus went out to the desert and uh, survived. Don't quote me on that. But where did, where did Easter come from? The word Easter is thought to have come from, uh, I can't even pronounce this, but it's a... Uh, it's the goddess of spring and fertility, E-O-S-T-R-A-E, -E, Eostre. Um, the goddess of fertility, that's the pagan origins of Easter. If you ever watched that show, American Gods, it was on, I think, Netflix. It was a pretty damn good show, and it kind of covered that uh, in there, and it talked about, God, all, all the gods. It, it ranged from the old world onto the new. Um, Easter eggs. Uh, Easter eggs come from um, the egg represents fertility. Once again, the goddess of fertility in spring. Uh, the Easter bunnies as well. How did we get the Easter bunnies over here? Well, it's thought of in the 1700s. It came with uh, German immigrants, that story. And again, it's a part of fertility. So Easter is about new beginnings, fertility, uh, new life, things like that. For Christians, it's about the resurrection and the, the death of Jesus. Um, so it's pretty cool. It, it's crazy how all these holidays, especially religious holidays, mix with the old world or an older way of thinking. Um, a lot of pagan stuff out there. There's some uh, religions, don't quote me, but I think uh, Lutheran and Protestant don't celebrate Easter so much because, uh, or the, the Easter egg stuff, because it's too pagan. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody out there watching? Uh, I don't know, folks. I really don't know. These are crazy times right now. And if you're someone of faith, you know, do your deal, light your candles, do what you gotta do. And if you're not, wash your hands. Wash your hands, folks, okay? Just, it's absolutely crazy. It's, it's, and people traveling. If you're gonna travel, make sure and wash your hands. Don't travel to a country that's infected and then, you know, come back and be like, oh, I didn't know. Come on, all right? Uh, in fact, the World Health Organization does have tips on traveling if you do have to travel uh, and it's necessary. There is tips that can help you uh, to prevent you from contracting the coronavirus. 
But at the same time, if you're elderly or prone to illness, it's probably a good idea if you do not travel. Um, don't put grandma on the plane, anything like that, or don't, don't send them on a cruise or anything. Uh, that's kind of crazy too. You go for a cruise and all that, you're having a good time, then all of a sudden someone gets sick. Now you got two more weeks on a cruise. And I don't think it's gonna be like that first week when it was all fun and all that, but um, it's crazy, folks, it really is. Uh, baseball, the sports thing, uh, once again, you know, just wash your hands, be clean, everybody be clean. You would think after all these epidemics and all that that come out, what, every two years, we'd all be clean, cleaner, something like that. But uh, it's just crazy the way things are happening. I don't know. It's just, if you want to see something funny, just go into the store, go into Sam's Club and uh, just check it out. Watch people. Look what's in their carts, uh, things like that. It's, I don't get it. I don't get why the toilet paper started, but it did. And uh, the bottled water, it's a flu. It's not, it's not a natural disaster, you know. Um, but if you are stressed out about this and it's really eating you up inside and you don't know what to do and you don't want paranoia to take hold of you, okay, check it out. You can go to New Heights CBD and get you uh, some CBD products that'll help smooth you out. And a lot of that stuff helps with tension and uh, anxiety, things like that. So this is a perfect time. If you haven't uh, delve into that world to try it out. I mean, if you're, you know, if you think you're gonna be home for a couple weeks, you might as well be home relaxed. Uh, it's not like you're getting high or you're smoking a joint or anything like that. I know some of you would prefer that. But for the general public, if you want to, you know, calm down, get those nerves under control, things like that, you can go to New Heights CBD and get some of their products. They're well-versed in their products so they can help you out. And if you have concerns as far as testing, things like that, they have products for you uh, that can help you. Um, also to everybody overseas serving in our, our, uh, our military, things like that. I know some of you were looking forward on coming back to the States, coming back home, and some of uh, a lot of your dates got pushed out because of this, this coronavirus. So if you know anybody overseas or serving or anything like that, send them an extra uh, care package, you know, let them know they're being thought of and being taken care of. Uh, that's got to suck. It really does. Um, and while you're relaxing, while you're going through this, while the nation is suffering, not our nation, but the nation we live in, uh, I have a suggestion for you. If you want to get down and you want some good tunes, there's this band called Kubla Khan TX. They're from Texas. And I, I'll tell you what, the world went deadly quiet when Slayer retired. They really did. All right. Um, trying to find a substitute to fill the void. You never can. But these guys I heard, and man, they, I'm telling you, it's like I'm back in high school and I just heard that band again, you know? Uh, Kubla Khan TX, I will leave a link in the description as well as for the World Health Organization. But there's a song called The Hammer. Okay, these guys are out on tour. Hopefully the tour didn't get canceled. But uh, I'll, I'll leave that song on the description. Call the Hammer. It's one of the heaviest damn things since uh, the thing that should not be from Metallica back in the day. If you guys are familiar with that, then yeah, man, you'll love this. If you love Slayer, you're going to love these guys. I'm telling you. I'm just saying it. All right. Also, too, I went shopping... Uh, long time ago and I uh, this this one guy uh, he was working at a um, department store and he saw my tattoo all right he was a fan of Slayer as well and we just hit it off all the old metal heads that's just that's just the way it is once you you learn that you like metal or thrash or something like that I mean 
you got a new best friend. I'm telling you, that's just the way it is. It's always been that way, and hopefully it'll remain that way. It's just something that we share, something we have in common, and total strangers, you'll be able to relate to each other on a level that just doesn't exist. But uh, I was talking to this guy, and he uh, has his own band, and they're on Facebook. I will leave the link, like their page, help support them. They're uh, putting out, in the process of putting out a demo, things like that, and they give you a little snippet of uh, some of their music. I'm telling you, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit metal, a little bit hard rock. Uh, it's got a unique sound, unique flavor. I love it. And I love the fact that they're local and hopefully they do big things. In fact, they're slated, uh, their first show is in June at Skunk Fest uh, at Come and Take It live in Austin. All right, uh, that's in uh, June, so look out for that. Their name is No Ten Gods, G-O-D-Z. All right, you got uh, Paul Kennedy on drums, Lennis Hayes, bass and vocals, and fucking Skunk Manhattan on guitar and vocals. Straight rock and roll, I'm telling you. Skunk Manhattan, that's a badass name. Uh, but yeah, check them out, I'll leave the link and uh, you know, help support your local bands. I truly believe that. I've done that all my life and it's just, it's cool to see people start here and then just explode, you know? You never know, you never know. Just always be there, help support local people. It's, you got to, it's your community. If you wanna help change things, that's where it starts, in your community. Not over in Washington, not, you know, not some far off place, but here in your neighborhood, in your city, in your county, in your area. That's how you start changing things in, in your environment. Um, it's Friday the 13th, folks. All right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the Jason Marathon is going strong. Uh, but yeah, Friday the 13th. Is it really bad luck? I don't know. I don't know. It has been throughout the course of the ages, things like that. Uh, most famously, back in October 13th, 1307, King Philip IV of France took out the, um, the Templars. Took them out, arrested them all, tortured them, made them confess. Did he owe them money? That's the word on the street. That's why he took them out. It's, it's twisted history, folks. It really is. Also, too, Tupac died on Friday the 13th, 1996. That's right. I, I didn't realize it was Friday the 13th that he died. I just knew he died in Vegas. That's it. But yeah, it's Friday the 13th, folks. Is it bad luck? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. But check it out. While you're living in, uh, in these paranoid times, things like that, relax with a little bit of CBD, some good tunes, curl up with the family, watch a good movie, things like that. Don't be dumb, folks. Please, don't be dumb. Do your research. Don't believe everything you read on Facebook because I'll post, I'll post something for you. <laughs> I'll post the dumbest shit ever, hoping someone will believe it. Um, but please do your research. Like I said, I'll leave uh, things in the description, links uh, to reputable people, reputable places that you can look up information. Uh, Facebook groups probably are not it. Uh, Twitter, probably not it. And uh, other avenues and so forth. Wash your hands, be smart, everything. Um, telling you crazy times we live in you know what you should do too is um, get a journal and write about these times because um, when you think about it we're in some serious times not only with the political uh, landscape from Obama Trump to the future uh, 
But I mean, all these epidemics, everything going on in the world, all the changes, uh, everything. Write it down, tell your firsthand experiences, and then, you know, who knows, 50 years from now, someone's gonna find it, and then they'll write a book. Or maybe you can write a book later on. It'll be your retirement, something like that. But just record what's going on in your time. Someone had told me uh, the other day that their uh, old high school is opening up a time capsule. When I was a kid, we used to uh, write letters um, and they would put it in a time capsule that would be opened up in the year 2000 because that was a big deal. And uh, I guess they just recently opened up one and it was a class of 1972 out here in the area. And that, I don't even know if they do that anymore. Uh, but they used to just put a metal canister in concrete and put a cap on it and they opened it up like 30 years later or something like that but it was a window into that time it was actual first hand um, accounts letters things like that from the kids of that era so I, I think that's pretty cool but that's just me so write down what's going on do something like that leave a, a memo Hell, put it on YouTube. You never know how long this is gonna last. But once again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Toilet Talk. And like I said, we're balling, folks. We're balling big time, all right? This is how we're living. You wanna be part of the nation. That's right. I'm burning toilet paper again. Again. <laughs> Crazy. Don't do that at home. It's stupid. Don't be burning stuff, all right? Only you can prevent forest fires. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Uh, subscribe, like. Welcome to Toilet Talk. Peace.